If you fancy earning some golden eagles, then download the app in the description below. Hi guys, I'm Archer Monkey, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today, this is Scrubber Replay time again. And this time with Woodruff and the Mark III Gloucester Meteor. Yep, what a great plane it is too. I think you'll like this one. Lots of action, lots of kills. Yeah, lots of shooting. Anyways, it's a rank 5 vehicle. Battering at 7.0. It's had a debuff since we last saw it. And it's done a lot of good. You now see props again. Armed with four Espada Mark V cannons. All those mounted, as you can see. There you go. Right smack in the middle. And this plane is a very nice plane indeed. Nice maneuverable. Pretty fast. Quite durable. And hard hitting. We are on the Berlin map, so we're against the Germans. So classic Lost in Meteor versus 262s. So we're going to the gameplay. As you can see, he got a bit ahead of himself, he's turned around and he's been chased now. There's Hortons and all sorts in this match. Head back towards the enemy the friendly lines. F-84s, MiG-9s, Meteors in his team, P-80s, the Russians. Basically the Allies versus Germans near enough. The one that gave chase to him, the MiG-9 spotted him. Thanks to Woodruff for this in, much appreciated. And he's coming up, Port was after him, so I can gain his altitude back. Now F-84 there, move to intercept, another Meteor as well. Yeah mate, you're in trouble, he's down. Very nice too. Gave the old flaps there to bring some over the top. Now I'm not the most biggest expert on her, uh, Jet gameplay, but I will try. Another Horton here. Going for the sniping shot. Didn't quite get it. Can we have it this time? No. Nope. Maneuvering for a better angle. He's got him now, and he. No, he hasn't. Okay, he misses all his shots there. He won't miss much longer. Don't worry. Keep an eye on where he is. Checking his six all the time. Might make it feel a bit sick, but it's a very effective way of doing it. It spots no one. Rolling over the top again. Gets his speed back up again. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, you got him that time, though. Took his clean off. Lovely. There you go. Ooh, that wing fall off. Lovely. Now you might notice that this video is up on a Sunday instead of a Friday. Yeah, a bit of a bit hectic round here. What was last week? The computer dying. All 262 head on. Rolls at the weight, incoming fire. I've been working at loads as Christmas is coming up. Well, I do have a week off over Christmas, so hopefully, I shall catch myself up again and get a couple of extra videos out for you guys to enjoy. And the 262 pass back underneath Woodruff again, so it would have gives chase, as you would, bring him back round again. But the 262's got the energy advantage and is diving away, speeding off. Keep an eye on his six there, making sure no one trying to get on his six. Just have a little check. A very good thing to do with jets is very quickly you can get in trouble with your jets because they're so big and fast. Especially the high tier ones. This one had a lot of trouble before, it was 8.0 before. And it used to be just cannon fodder, near enough. It wasn't fast enough to keep up with the big boys, and we couldn't get the way in time either. Anyways, here we go. Two's two running for it. Uh, there's a Mig-9 coming in though, you've seen him. I think the two of might have seen the Mig-9 coming in because he's coming in quite rapidly. And he's thinking, oh, I'm going to get squished in a minute. So he makes a quick turn to the right, slows him right down. And now Woodruff now has a load of speed. He's now giving chase. Ooh, go on, get a sniper shot. No, it doesn't quite get him though, doesn't quite get him. It's a classic what-if scenario in World War II. Who would win out the Gloucester Meteor or the 262? Yeah, the British are going to win, aren't they? <laughs> 262 down. Nice, second kill. You can see Woodruff all over his bum. Bits falling off all over the place. Look, Mink falls off again. And straight into the deck. Yeah, that's got to hurt. Now, 109 is now taken on to where uh, Woodruff 6. It could be in trouble here. Because the 109 will outmaneuver you all day long. Might not be as fast, but in close range, it's a pretty powerful little plane. Pinged him in the wing. 
His engine now smoking nicely. He goes to the hard deck and gets his speed back up again. Keep an eye on that 109. The big 9 has passed him. Oh, he's going for him again. Look, trying to get sniping shots. Up in there. Someone got pinged somewhere. G6. So it's quite a maneuver little plane. Oh, look at that turning rate. He's bringing it back round again. We'd have to use his flaps to try and get a little bit more turning. And try to get his friend in. In the big 9. To get on the G66. Trying to help him out a little bit. It's not really working. There's a P80 right out there. So he gets his engine flaps raised again. Ah. Gets his speed up and the G6 gives up. Chase. Nice. Could have been. If he pushed that fight too long, he would have probably died. The G6 will outmaneuver you. And it's not big enough. 20 more cans in there as well. So we'll rip you apart. Let's head on. Oh. It's pinged in return though. Right on the same spot again, on the right hand wing. That right hand engine might fall apart. We'll head back to base. Get it landed, get it repaired, get rearmed. This has like 700 rounds between four cannons. So he's probably running a little bit low on ammo by now. Done a fair bit of spraying and praying just to uh, get those sniping shots off. Keep an eye on that 109 still. Two targets ahead though, two Hortons are coming in too. Wings looking pretty bad actually. He's got holes and all sorts in it. It's orange, not quite red, but if he turns too fast, it will rip it off. So we've got Grogan and HO229, the old Horton. Pretty oblivious. Woodruff, go for the sniping shot. Wow. Don't think mate, you even saw that coming. That's pretty cool. Just again, let's get some altitude back. And here comes Woodruff. And Finishes them off nicely. Lovely. Excellent stuff. And one more guy remaining. Another Horton. He's on that big nine. I think the one and I went down. Thank God. The pad in the arse. What was coming in behind the head on? Starts shooting at one and a half k away, gets the kill. Lovely, rolls out the way the incoming fire. Perfect. And pretty much textbook, I reckon. I thought it was Jenga. <laughs> it looked pretty good to me. Wow. So that's four kills. One walk for an ace. Alright, he's going to go in for a landing now. Get landed, get repaired, get rearmed, get back into the action again. What a great plane so far though. What an excellent match. As you can see, smoking from the right hand engine. So here we go. Loads his flaps and the older landing. But he's coming a little bit too fast and the dive speed makes him over speed a little bit and he snaps them straight off. Controls are nice like the gears down. Using the gun to slow himself down. And they put it down. Oh yes, very nice. Nice clean landing there. Well, he can walk away from it, so... Yeah, with the old tail there, just trying to slow himself down. Excellent stuff. It's got to come to a halt now. Anything with jets. Some jets you can just belly flop them onto the deck. And so I'll get away with it. Others will just rip your wing straight off and you'll die. Right, so he's fully repaired, back up in the air. And next target is another Horton. Lovely. Now you can outspeed the Horton, but the Horton will outturn him all day long. So he's chased him down. Mate, he's gone up here, so he's going to lose all his speed while going up there. So Woodruff's keeping level, building his speed up, ready to go for the speed climb. Here he goes. Oh, the Horton's gone for the big nine. Woodruff going for the sniping shot, about 7k away. Just misses out the lead there, a little bit not enough lead. Bit of a weird angle. Wasted his shots, never mind. Doesn't quite get him. Going for it though. Give and chase quite nicely. And the horse is trying to turn. 
Does it appear to have more speed than Woodruff does? I don't know if Woodruff's plane is fully upgraded or not. He never did say. But he does say that he gets a half a kill in this match. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So he's chasing his Telesivales down. <laughs> nice name. He's starting to catch him up now. His mate is waking up. A full wide turn, but he's still turning. So here he comes. Cuts a bit tight. Loses all his speed. Come on. Lead him. Not quite. No. Nope. Not quite. Just misses his shots. Goes to the big nine. Takes him straight out. Poor old big nine. Just, just wiped quite nicely. Goes a bit straight and level. Gets his speed back up again. Let's pull it away again. Woodruff here. Just bamming away with the old Hispanos. Will he get a hit? I doubt it. Right, so we've got a bit further forward. Telling has, has gone high. Rolled on the top, coming in for it. We're trying to cut him off. Right, he's trying to get Woodruff into a turning fight here. He's having none of it. Going straight after him, keep him behind him. Here he goes. Starts shooting at him. Not letting him get away, not too far anyway. Gonna turn. Checking the six again, make sure it's clear. He's going for the old ground targets again. Take the triple A out. Fair enough. All the points. He's gone vertical. Now it's Woodrow's big chance. But no, he kills himself. Rips his own wings off from the G forces. Unlucky, but that's what Rudolph's class is, is half a kill. And I would say, yes, that is half a kill. Because he's badged that bling it along. That mate, he's made a mistake. And overcooked it on the turn. And then done himself. Very nice. Which leaves just two enemies left. We have a 262 and a 190 A1, I think it is. There is a Fokker 190. Looking around from now. Trying to spot the last two players. They're not far away. They can't be that far away. Not that big a map. Right, there's a 190 down there, to the left. He's going to take race down there. May as well have the ground targets, by the way. He's bored of playing his real players, so he wants to kill the AI. So, he's going down here to where uh, pick a fight with this chap. Now, the 190 is not the most maneuverable player in the world. With Kenneth's Jets, is not the best straight line. There's a 262 as well. So he's in the right area. Now he has to be careful here. Because he can tag teamed. He's sandwiched basically, altitude wise. So he's going for the 190 first, he's got nowhere to go, but head on. Pings him, avoids incoming fire, so D13. It's got some quite lethal cannons on it. Well, it's other 262, 30 mils. So he's coming in, just puts a shot across him, just to ward him off a little bit. Rolls over the top, re on the 190. He's got the speed, doesn't quite get him. Got a nice broadside there. Full profile shot. Didn't quite get it. And making the 190 is still going for uh, uh, the ground targets. I think I might have buggered off those him. At least run back to the base at least. Let the 262 ever go. Now the 190 and 262 had actually supported each other. Then I reckon they probably would take a wood off out. 262 diving through. Did he get a hit there? I think he might have got a hit. It's a teeny tiny one. Yeah, he's smoking. He's smoking. Good lad. But the 190 is trying to run away. 2 is going for the fight. But what the 190 is going for the AI. To get as many points. That's pretty selfish. Did you get him? Not quite, not quite. On the 262 again. He is smoking quite heavily now. Ah, one night he stacks it. Because Woodruff uh, pushed off into him, he gets the kill. So that's his ace match. Very nice. Two. Happy days. Now the 262 now. He's going for it. On vertical. Over the top. Woodruff not enough speed there to catch him up. If it had a bit more speed. There, they put him in the climbing. When he's stalling out, might have got the kill. But never mind. Can't have it all, can you? Dived away again, getting the speed back up again. Doesn't get caught out. Trying to stall climb up to uh, the 262. 
Here he comes again. I'm trying to keep an eye on him. Ooh, gets pinged. That's quite a nasty shot there. Main fuselage has gone black. Okay, careful to rip now. Put shots back into him again, but the misses. Pigs do try to climb away again. But when you get him, ooh, it hits him again. Hits him again, bits more fall off there. Both planes are pretty much ruined. There's another classic what if match between the Gloucester Meteor and the 262. Both planes are extremely good. I haven't got the 262 myself yet, never tried it out. But I have test flown it, and it is a good plane. Diving away, trying to get his speed up. Getting a bit of distance between the two. Then he can return and get his guns to bear. Woodruff giving chase quite nicely. Come on, son. You can do it. Catch them up now, look. The raccoon is trying to outmaneuver him. Diving down touch, just to get a little bit extra speed. But it's not working. Woodruff is pulling and reeling him in quite nicely. Getting back in range again. To get the killer blow. There he goes, turning. Go on. Hits him again. Get him. No. Too close, too close. Ah, oh, overshoots him. Oh shit. I think the raccoon might have had a. Uh, oh, his Christmas wants it. But. Oh, look at that. Spins past him. But no, he doesn't. He screws it. It goes into a flat spin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? Ooh, bugger. What a way to die. You're going down, son. She's randomly just try to wear her. Might get a lucky kill, but it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. You're going down. Look at that. Ooh, flat spin. You're going out to sea. And stacks it. Just see that from her. Uh, just point of view. It's down the bottom there. There you go. Sixth kill. Very nice. So six and a half kills for the win. Woodruff there. Excellent match. Nice ace match. Especially the Meteor. What a great play. Well, thanks to uh, Woodruff again for sending this in. Much appreciated. And thank to you guys for watching. Anyways, if you like the match, hit that like button down below. And if you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button. Yeah. We're nearly at 1500 now. I want to hear 1500 by New Year. So if you're watching this, and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. We are at the scoreboard, six kills, zero deaths. Took the board, very nice match indeed. Well, thanks guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the match, and I shall see you next time.